Welcome to Voro Motors. Today, we will be teaching you how to replace the main connector cord on the eMove Cruiser. Take note, today's tutorial will require specialized tools and include steps that are intended for those of you with advanced repair experience. Do not attempt this repair if you are not confident in your abilities. The tools you will need for today's task are an Allen key set, pliers, a terminal removal kit for pins, a set of wire cutters, electrical tape, a hot glue gun, gloves, zip ties, a bin to keep all your loose screws in, and of course, new cruiser main connector lines. We start off by cutting the zip ties holding on the line coverings. Then remove this front cover by unscrewing the six screws holding it in place. Unscrew the front four with a 4mm Allen key and the two side ones with a 3mm Allen key. Once free of screws, pull it out and let it hang there. Next, we loosen the brake line by unscrewing this rear screw on both the front and rear calipers. There is Loctite on these screws, so be prepared to use some strength. Once the lines are loose, go ahead and turn the screws on the lever until you see this clearing. Pull the line up and through it, and then pull out the metal cylinder at the end of the line. Do this on both left and right levers. After you have done this for both sides, pull the end of this line tight to get rid of slack. Pull the lines through and let them hang off to the side. Before going any further, we must ensure the power is completely off. Go to the cavity we opened up earlier and pull the controller out. You can pull most of this cabling out now as well. Find the red and black cables attached by a white buffer and pull them apart. Place tape over the white buffers to secure them and ensure that there are no sparks while you are working. With the power off, we can now disconnect the main connector line from the scooter. We start by pulling the connector pins from each other at the top of the stem. We then move to the lower cavity to look for these three cable connectors. A 4-pin with purple, gray, pink, and brown lines going in. A 6-pin with red, orange, black, green, blue, and yellow lines. And a 2-pin with a white line going in. Once you find them, you can push in the latches and pull them apart. With pliers, lift the hot glue remnants from the connectors. Taking a sharp, thin piece from your terminal removal kit, fit it into each of these pin slots along each of these connectors, and push the pins out. Watch out for your fingers during this step. These are very sharp blades. Here is a unit that's already been cleared. The metal tool goes into the slots you can see the light through. It will be the side closer to the latch. Look at this pin here and see how it has a small metal piece sticking up. This piece is what you are trying to push in the other step. Once you see the metal of the pins peeking out of the other side of the connector, you are good to pull through. If any of the pins get stuck within the connector during the pulling step, try and use one of the tools to push it out. With the main connector now disconnected from the scooter, it is time to remove it and put in the new one. You'll use the existing line to pull the new one through the stem. With your wire cutters, cut the old line below where the line splits at the top. Line up the exposed pins of the new line onto the old one and begin taping them together with strips of electrical tape. It's important that you do this as tight as possible so that the line can be pulled through in the next step. Now that the lines are taped to each other, you can begin feeding them down the stem. Be careful once the tape section gets to the hole at the bottom. Thread it through slowly but still using force. Once it emerges completely, you can take the tape off and pull the old line out entirely. Now pinch the pins and push them through the small hole on the footboard and then into the main cavity. You can start placing the pins into the cable connections from earlier now. Match the colors up with the corresponding connectors and then start pushing them into their slots. The six pin will take the red, orange, black, green, blue, and yellow cables. The four pin will take the brown, pink, gray, and purple cables. and the 2-pin will take the white cable. Be careful to make sure all colors line up correctly. Also, be extra careful to not mix up the white and gray cords. For any pins having a difficult time going in, use a larger blunt metal piece from the set and push them in. Once everything seems matched up, push the connectors back together and hot glue the wires to their new terminals. Attach the four connectors at the top of the stem. With everything connected now, you can restore power. Reconnect the black and red lines in the cavity. There will be a spark, but don't be alarmed, this is normal. Start pushing all the cables back inside. Once everything seems pushed in, you can place the controller back in. 
Once secured, guide the cover back in and screw on the front four screws and the two side screws. Take your brake lines and wire them up through the stem. The rear line goes to the left lever and the front line goes to the right. Place the metal pieces and lines back into the levers. Turn the screw piece to keep them in place. Go to the calipers now and tune them to your liking. For more detailed instructions on tuning the brakes on the cruiser, click the video linked above. Place the line covers back on and zip tie them in place. Once all looks good, give yourself a pat on the back for completing one of the cruiser's most difficult repairs. Let us know what repairs you would like to see next in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe.